Hi y'all, it's Damaris from Taper is Fabric and I'm sharing with you what I created in response to a challenge that was issued by Lisa from Scrapping 2010. Over the past couple of months, Lisa, me, Melissa, um, Scrapping 2010, Paper is Fabric, and Crafter in the Making, we have been challenging each other to create something and then share it on YouTube. Well, I'm going to show you what I've created. I'm not going to be able to show you the stuff I use, really, because this is going to be clicking on the fly because we are in hurricane mode. And I'm not really sure if this is even going to upload. But anyway, without further ado, here is what I created. Now, what Lisa did was challenge us to use our Sizzix dies the largest and no our Sizzix label die the largest and the next to largest to create a banner and we needed to make it vintagey um, we needed to make it with ribbon and with lace and she gave each of us a word she had inspire I had imagine and Melissa had create and so we had to incorporate the words in our banner and this is what I've done now from a distance you might not be able to see it too well it's really too big to get in one shot so what I'm going to do is go closer to show that I did vintage it up that I did use lace and that I did use ribbon and I do have my word imagine I am a G I N E. There we go. Oops, I went too fast, I think. Now, what I did was I used the letters from Target. Um, they come in that little package and they're silver or gold. And I just had to, wow, I had to do a lot to get them changed up. But I tried to coordinate them with the paper that is behind there. I have um, some vellum in front of of the paper so unless you write up on it you might not be able to tell it and then I made rosettes incorporating the paper that I used from behind and using pearls and so on and so forth so to show you I used the larger well where is my finger I used the yard larger die I used the next to largest die I have my letters I have my lace and I have my ribbon and right here well okay how do I do this right here you can see how the ribbon is making the thing hang also I used a ribbon as a bow there and I used a ribbon to hang my rosettes okay the letter G is the only one that has the the long one and the rest only have two but there you go y'all I know this was quick nice and sweet nice and simple <sighs> and now I'm done so this is Damaris from Paper is Fabric as always saying bye bye and don't forget to uh, subscribe don't forget to comment and thanks a bunch y'all for letting me share this with you bye